I think the project's uh, gone really well over the past three weeks. I mean, we've had our points where it, it's hard at times and, you know, everyone's tired and rehearsing and rehearsing and going over things. But um, as a whole, yeah, it's, it's, it's great and it, looking forward to the performance and getting on and doing it all. Yeah, it's really fun. I enjoyed meeting new people and stuff like that. So, it's, yeah, it's a great experience overall. So. I feel it's given them the opportunity to actually do something and present it to people in school, family members, and it gives them the chance to prove to themselves that they're able to, to actually do something. I know children of you know, this caliber, they're, they're marginalized, and I think that this project just eradicates that altogether, and it gives them the confidence to know that they're able to do things that maybe other society has said that they couldn't, so I'm really happy for that. The young people have found it challenging. It has been a tough three weeks on them. It's been a big learning curve for them. They've learned a lot about themselves. They've learned a lot about each other and how they work alongside other people as well. I enjoyed the project very much because it was fun to get with everyone, like especially people that I wouldn't usually talk to. I'm now kind of like talking to them. I did enjoy the project because I learned a lot of stuff about myself that I, like, I didn't know I could do and it was a good experience. I think there was quite a nice level of maturity when we introduced ideas to the group. They, they seemed to respond like really, really quickly but also with quite um, intricate and interesting responses. We are going to be on stage with you, we're creating a company together. But so much of the show is actually generated by them and I think what is great for them is um, is that they can see the product of their imagination you know like they are performing something that they have created that wasn't there before nobody's told them how to do it. Me and Chris created a duet, uh, showed them the duet and then said we want something similar so we showed them the process of how we achieve that duet they look at it and then once you've got all the issues of touching each other and moving each other and doing all like that, they've created some great work, really good. This is what's great about this project, that this, this kid has got the opportunity to show, to show something else, to show that he's athletic, to show that he's got an input and I watched that process with them too and it wasn't Chris, you know, the professional dancer that was creating that, it was Sadiq. He was saying, why don't we do this? Why don't we do that? And so all of that came from him and uh, Chris just teased it out of him a little bit. We've done sessions where they've come up with a text and then we've, set, we've asked them to create the movement um, to that section and it becomes theirs. It becomes theirs. They own it, they've made it, so they become more attached to it. I enjoyed rehearsing and I enjoyed working with um, the protein dancers because it was really nice to us to even know that we was kind of rude. They first came in and they treat each other, say, do this, do that, you know, and things like that, ordering kind of people around and not actually talking to someone or asking, really. There's been an improvement over the whole thing from when they first came in to where they are now and they're actually talking to each other and asking and, you know, I mean, one of the students said, oh, we're like a big family now, we wouldn't talk, we wouldn't usually talk together in school, but now we have been communicating with each other and actually talking. So, so much of what we do as dancers is based on relationships and, and trust and it's, it's taken a little while for everyone to be able to build trust, both physically and emotionally. I think the hardest thing was trusting people because I know there's people that I've never trusted like who I'm working with now. You have to do the lift and if you don't trust someone you can't do it. This project has made people come closer than we was before. It's like built everyone together, like normally in school no one would talk to each other, like it'd be separate groups, like 
It's just brought everyone together, like more closer and people will speak more and hopefully it will be like that in school. I think the hardest thing for me was just keeping my head down, focusing on me and not others and just trying to do what I need to do. Um, the hardest thing is showing up on time and like trying not to get too frustrated with everyone. Um, doing it over and over and over and over again and the arguing. I found hard like kind of keeping my mouth shut like when it comes to certain things and I kind of found it hard like when we was first doing the rehearsals because I kind of felt silly doing the stuff. But it's boring doing it over again and it makes you more frustrated like because you have to do it over and over again. The same thing you've done like 10 times. Yeah, I do notice the difference. And the first time would be crap, and the 10th time would be like, more, like, better. Alfie, sorry, Alfie just said Shannon a win. Five, six, seven, eight, right. Rules. <laughs> I think I find rules harder, to be honest. So, I don't really like rules. Yeah, I, f I think it's made the project better because I think if there weren't rules, then people would just be doing whatever they want, like, and there wouldn't be that much of a show at the end of it. So if we didn't have rules, then basically there would be nothing to show for what we've done, just a, like three weeks off school. With the tiredness kicking in, that uh, yeah, we, we kind of try and push through it, and I think you know sometimes usually when you get tired and you don't have that so motivating you, you kind of just slunk off, but. Uh, yeah, we've, we've pushed and pushed them to do it and they, I think they cope really well with it to engage with their tiredness and actually push through it and move on. And especially when, you know, they, they, they've, they've been staying later than they would usually do in school as well. And, um, and we've not really had any complaints about that at all. Well, no, none at all, actually. So even when they're tired, they seem to still be engaged in trying to get the, the show done, so, yeah. And that's why Dan's is perfect for these kids. You have to turn up on time, you have to work hard, you have to be a team player, you have to understand that if you're not there to lift somebody, they're gonna fall. They learn a sense of working towards something for other people, so it's not about them all the time. I think individually, all of the young people involved have had different breakthroughs along the way at different points. Some might be physical breakthroughs, that they've, they've managed to accomplish things physically that they didn't think they could do before. Um, and it's, it's nice to be able to see them use their bodies in, in different ways to how they were before and have more confidence in expressing themselves with their body. Maybe it's just being able to keep calm under pressure and under stress, but it's how to control this and, and what's, what's the best way to approach a task as a group as well as for you individually and there's been some really nice breakthroughs with, with some people where maybe in the first week they would have snapped back and they, they would have really expressed their, the pressure um, and stress but you can see them then maybe trying to consider what's best for the room and, and best for the group to go forward and then, and then make their decision how they react upon this. I think my behaviour has kind of changed like started to listen more, I think. Because obviously the, the main aim, and like I've been saying to the group from the outset, is that you're part of a company and protein, the protein dancers are no different to them. I thought it would be like harder because like I had to keep up with them, but it actually just it just it wasn't like that. It was just like everyone was all just like on the same level. It just felt like they were one of us really, like, and that's what I think made me really more comfortable with the whole situation. Enjoyed the, like, the friendships of all the, like, the other dancers, like, more than the actual dancing. To have reminded the guys of where they were maybe a week ago, with some of the movements, where they are now, and for them to be able to see the progression that's been made because of hard, hard work and, and, and sticking with it. I think that's, that's something that I hope that they'll, they'll be able to take out of it. With my dog, Regan just wrote in his walk, I can't wait to see FNF7. Alfie likes this. Sadiq's got an awesome girl about two hours 
Rosebud, reading like two sick. Aaliyah saw a ghost in her room, oh shit, about one hour ago. I think the piece that, like, a team, as the team we've made, I think it's brilliant because like, we're working together, doing sort of things that we've never done before. Like, I'm spinning through the air, like, doing cartwheels in the air, like, while someone's holding me. I've never done that before, so I think that's good. Sadiq just posted, I want my first daughter to be a girl. Regan replied, L-O-L. I think the piece we made was quite, for me, I didn't think it would happen, like, when we first started, but in a way, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that we've, everyone's actually kept to it and actually done it, and we've actually got something we could be proud of. I think it, the piece is really good. And I actually kind of like the dance, even though I'm more into like hip hop and stuff. I think it's quite good. At first, I didn't think we could do it because, like, obviously, all the arguing. There still is some, but it got better, and then we worked through it, and it became a good piece. There's a few people that are coming of my family. And there's other people like my friends, friends are coming and stuff like that. So it's pretty, to be, I'm just going to say it's overwhelming to think that I'm doing something this good with myself that I'd never thought I'd do, be doing before. So. For the last three weeks, I've been crying just through the rehearsals. And I, I, I believe everybody's, there's going to be a definite tear in everybody's eye this evening. I think they're going to be really surprised, really proud. We, I mean, we've got members of staff, we've got family members, friends, and I think they're going to be really, really, really proud to see what these kids have produced. I'm, I'm excited and feeling a little bit emotional now just saying it because I can't wait and I'm, I'm really happy for them. The expectations of family members as well as the staff at our school will have increased, definitely. I realised he was carrying an extra 20 years and 20 pounds. The audience... <gasps> Oh my goodness, the audience is going to react really, really well to it and I think it's going to be amazing because I have people in the audience waiting for me and it's going to be really good. Sorry, I got really happy because I saw my auntie oh, and my, yeah, I saw my auntie and my cousin. Toy Story 2, comma. Have you ever watched it? Question mark, question mark, kiss. Yeah, but I've not seen it in ages. Kiss. It's been good, like, I think it's good that we've had the chance to do it. Because, like, we go to a centre and all that, but we still have the chance, like, other mainstream schools. Well, I thought it was an amazing evening, actually, um, the enthusiasm, and I was impressed by the fact that they'd only been together for three weeks and what they'd put into it, and also what they'd got out of it. I've, I've had a really good evening, and I was thoroughly impressed by what I saw. While academic achievement it, it is critical, the ability to learn dance, the ability uh, to learn um, music is equally important in developing a, a young person's personality. Um, just incredible. 
Um, we have something of a battle day in, day out with some of these students just to get them to do uh, the bare basics, but seeing what they've been able to accomplish in three weeks is just astounding. Brilliant. Um, all the children worked really well together. Fantastic. It was really good. I love it. I'm happy for the children from the New Evans School. And I think you guys, I nearly cried because I feel you guys, I don't know how you lot done it, but you lot done a good work on them. I want to say thanks to everyone for helping me and my school for being here. It has been a pleasure. Just thank you very much. <laughs>